Hey guys, this is Michibi Maxon again, and in this short video, I know I haven't uploaded in a while, but I had to make this video because of the issues that I faced trying to install macOS Big Sur. So actually, I wasn't going to make this video. I was just going to up update my laptop and get it over with. But when I faced an issue, I just knew that I had to make a video to help you guys out there who are facing errors trying to update or trying to download Big Sur. So when I went to the App Store and tried to update to Big Sur, it brought me here to the settings. I forgot a software update. Right now I'm running, a, let's check it here. I'm running a 2017 13-inch MacBook Pro, the, the i5 version. So the non-touch bar. I just wanted, wanted you to know the specs of the MacBook I'm running. So with macOS Big Sur, I clicked on update. I'm not going to do that right now because it's just going to keep on using more data, but not working. So what was happening exactly? Let us minimize this so we keep our focus here. So when I clicked on update, it started downloading. The download was going pretty slow. And when it reached somewhere like around 4 gigs, it then showed it was at like 12.18 uh, 12 gigs. But it stayed there for like an hour, not moving. And when I restarted it, it downloaded, then got stuck again. So the download was, an, was a nightmare. So I spent like an entire day trying to download macOS Big Sur, but it wasn't working. So as any tech guy would do, I went online and started looking for solutions. So what I discovered was you could download uh, macOS Big Sur directly from the Apple website without having to go through their softwares. So I'm going to put the link to where I download the big, this Big Sur file. Let me just show it to you. My downloads, let's just open them here. So here's the file here. You see install assisted PKG. This file was downloaded from Apple, not any third party or pirated uh, websites. And I'll put the link down below. You can check it and just make sure that it's from Apple. Because if I show you here, uh, get info, as you can see right here, it's from uh, uh, swcdn.apple.com. So this is the link right here that I'm going to put in the descriptions. And you can just check it out to confirm. But this is a legitimate uh, download from Apple. I assure of that, guys. <laughs> so... When you download this, it's going to ask you to install. Just when you run it, I just continue like how you normally install any other software. And after you install, you're going to have the Big Sur installer in your apps. So let me just quit this for now and show you that I have it in my apps. So if I come here in my apps, uh, scroll down. So it's right here. As you can see, it's right here. Install macOS Big so as you can see, 12.22 gigs. So actually, I haven't run this laptop. As you can see, I'm right now running macOS Catalina 10.15.5. So hopefully, because this is my work laptop, I have been like uh, procrastinating about uh, updating my laptop because <laughs> I use this for my everyday job. And uh, my software is like Photoshop, the browser, those have to work or unless I can't, I can't like work at all. So <clears throat> let me just run this. Let me just close this and just go in my apps and just show you me running it. It's right here. So <sighs> guys, like we, are, we are doing this. I'm updating to Big Sur. And hopefully it doesn't screw me over because I really need this laptop. Okay, I agree. So I'm just going to stop this recording here and I will record again once I'm in macOS Big Sur, hopefully. And I'll let you know if it went successfully or not. And I hope this works for you guys. See you after the install. Hey guys, I'm proud to say that this is me right now in macOS Big Sur. So that's what I mean right now. So the installation has just completed just now, like a minute ago, and it took approximately 42 minutes to do the full install from the moment I clicked install. 
So just to show you here about this Mac, as you can see, running Mac OS Big Sur version 11.0.1 MacBook Pro. Uh, some reason it's showing, showing it here, but as you can see, the serial number is still the same. So I think that's pretty much it, guys. So I haven't opened any apps, so I'm not even sure if Photoshop works, but let's see Chrome, Google account. So looks like Chrome works. It's just my internet that's not working for some reason, but I think that's known to Mac OS Big Sur's issue. I think it's just my router. I just need to restart that for the internet to work. Uh, let me just restart this. I'm pretty sure the internet will work. As that restarts, guys, I don't know if you want to see like uh, a future update to this. As you can see, this, is, this was the tab I was in previously. I like the dark theme of Catalina. Uh, I'll check out uh, Mac OS Big Sur and see all the features. And if you want to see the list of all the features or showcase of all the features, just leave a suggestion in the comment below. Or if you want to see what apps work and what apps don't, just leave the comment down below. If you want to see any update at all, just leave it in the comment. And if I face any issues, guys, I'll be letting you know. As you can see, the icon for iTunes is changed. Welcome to Apple Music. I think now they call it Apple Music, not iTunes anymore. So, huh. let's see. If music plays. Music is playing fine. So we're gonna just have to check it out. But I like what I see so far. And here, yeah, my road has restarted. So let's see Google.com. Uh, fingers crossed. Yeah, it's working. So YouTube. YouTube, it's slow. <laughs> it could be my network, but I can't tell for sure because I've been using Mac OS Big Sur for like five minutes now. So <laughs> I can't say for sure what's the cause, but it looks like everything is working, guys. And as you can see right here, there's my MacBook. So I had to be connected to the internet for this to show. Uh, thanks you guys for watching and I'll probably catch you in the next, in the next one. One update for this. Thank you.